Responding to a WBRE editorial is evangelist Kenneth Fatula of the Berwick Church of Christ. Mr. Fatula. Legitimate concerns have been voiced recently over the issue of religion and politics. Discussions among politicians over whose policies are more Christian brings to mind a dispute among Jesus' disciples as to which of them was considered the greatest. Talk is cheap. The New Testament writer James suggests that one shows his faith by his works. There has also been increased dissatisfaction among some regarding the role of preachers in politics. Critics appeal to the principle of the separation of church and state to establish a legal case against a politically active clergy. But the First Amendment is designed to protect the church from the state, not to protect the state from being influenced by the church. So the real issue is not whether, but in what way, religion should influence our government. Since law is based on morality, and the Bible is clear on the issues of murder, abortion, homosexuality, pornography, prejudice, and drunkenness, it is only natural that committed Christians would support those candidates who share a similar moral code. But this decision rests with the individual as a matter of personal faith and conscience, not church dictate. It is not who, but what the Christian votes for that matters. It is the preacher's duty to encourage this allegiance to God and to his moral code. In the 22nd chapter of Ezekiel, after elaborating on the public, political, and religious corruption of Israel, God states his dilemma. I look for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so I would not have to destroy it, but I have found none. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger, bringing down on their own heads all they have done. Having observed the terrible consequences of immorality, contemporary preachers are not trying to legislate religion. They're trying to prevent a catastrophe. Evangelist Kenneth Fatula, the Berwick Church of Christ, has responded to a WBRE editorial. Copies of Mr. Fatula's remarks are available on request.